welcome. Another historic day for our Port Adelaide Football Club as we introduce our inaugural AFLW captain, our vice captain and leadership group. We're very excited to have Erin Phillips leading our team and supported by Ange Foley as vice captain. Erin embodies the Port Adelaide spirit through and through and is a fantastic role model and leader for our group. Her connection and passion for this club is clear and she really is the perfect captain for our inaugural AFLW team. Erin, Ange, Justine, Hannah Dunn and Gemma Houghton have been shown overwhelming support from the team and will be an outstanding leadership group. They're all fantastic people and fantastic footballers and we're really excited to start with this wonderful group of women as our leadership group. Well, Erin, how surreal is it for you now wearing the number one? Your dad was number one back in the day here at Fort Adelaide as well. Yeah, it's honestly a massive honour and privilege to, to lead this team and with some incredible leaders uh, next to me. And yeah, it's just a, it's an amazing honour. I still can't quite believe it, um, how life's turning out. But, you know, it's just the beginning and just now really looking forward to getting the season started and, and playing some footy with these uh, incredible athletes. How much does it mean for you to actually be captaining the inaugural uh, women's side at Port? Yeah, look, any time you get to captain a side, it's special. Um, obviously, it's special to me and my family connection, but it's even more special because it's this group um, who I'm so passionate about. And um, it is the first year, and, and that is special. And But, like, I, I just... I'm so privileged and honoured to, to be voted by my team and, and to have this this honour. Like How I said. did you find out, Erin? Yeah, so uh, I was uh, told in fr uh, by Juliet and, and Loz, and it was very, very surreal, and then announced in front of the team, um, which was really, really special. And um, yeah, and told Dad actually uh, not too long after that. So. Uh, very emotional, my dad. Uh, it's probably the most emotional I've ever seen him. Um, he cried. We've got it on film. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Which uh, uh, I, I told him I approved it. He didn't have, have to approve it. So, <laughs> um, But, look, he was uh, obviously just happy and, um, you know, just he, like he said to me, it doesn't matter, matter what number I wore, he'd have been proud. But, yeah, it's a massive, massive honour. Did it take some convincing clip? Did you, as soon as you decided you didn't come to Port Adelaide, did you want to be the captain? Um, honestly, it wasn't my thought process, to be honest. It was, uh, I just wanted to be whatever this team needed me to be. Um, and, you know, I suppose the, the vote went that way. And I'm just, yeah, really excited. Um, and like I said, yeah, I get to wear the number one and that's incredibly special. But um, in terms of um, roles, I'll be... Um, making sure and, and leaning on these girls to, to help me. Um, this is a team effort, it's not just me. Um, I, like I said, I do get to wear the one, but um, I'm really excited to work with, with these girls and they all bring something different and new and exciting and it's a, it's a great bunch, I'm really proud. I can imagine the vote would have been fairly overwhelming. The numbers would have stacked up really well. For every single one of this, this five group, I think you can see a lot of depth of leadership in this group, um, obviously with Erin captain and Ange vice captain, but uh, between Gemma and Justine and Hannah, um, there's really deep experience and, and wonderful people behind those labels and um, the playing group, that, they're really clear that it resonates for them too. Um, Ange, what's it, what's it like for you? I mean, could you imagine 12 months ago you'd be in a position like this? Yeah, no, definitely not. Um, you know, we, uh, I mean... Of course, uh, look up to Erin and, and love that um, she's here alongside me as well. Um, but no, definitely not something that I imagined, but something I'm um, pretty proud about and um, excited to probably run out for the first time, as Erin said as well. It's going to be an amazing day, I think. You two are used to these positions next to each other as well. What does that give you, I suppose? Yeah, I'll, I'll learn a lot from Erin and I still am. And um, if you ask me... Um, you know, a, about her, I think um, she she teaches us a lot about being an awesome human, and um, and I think if you look at the five of us, um, it's something that we all reflect as well. So yeah, we're used to um, standing alongside each other, and that's fun. Um, love playing footy together too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, how do you see the team coming together at the moment? You know, less than two weeks until your first practice game. We're very excited for our practice games, and I think they'll give us a, a small reflection on where we're at. 
uh, we're building confidence and connection with our group on and off field and there's, there hasn't really been any true measure of that and, and outside of ourselves so we're looking forward to that opportunity I think um, you know particularly led by this group so far everything's good and I think you'd expect that from any team right now if you ask that question Liz I think <laughs> if we're not going well in pre-season we're doing a fair bit wrong so um, you know obviously happy with how we're tracking and, and very much looking forward to getting true measure on that particularly when when we reach round one. Why do you think these two will be so good in the roles? Oh Liz I'm sure you know they're wonderful people and with great leadership experience as well um, their team really looks up to them, um, is guided by them on and off field and they're very, very well supported by, by Gemma, Justine and Hannah. So, yeah, I think, I think another part to leadership that some people can underestimate is, is the off field side of things and um, certainly gives me great confidence with all five people that, you, that are standing in front of you today. Um, wonderful connection and, and ability to communicate with, with just beyond the playing group as well. So, yeah, it's, it's wonderful to be able to, to present that today. Erin, how's, how's the body? You up around one year? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm feeling really confident. I'm hopefully um, run around against uh, Essendon in the pre-season match, so yeah, feeling feeling really good. Um, some days I feel 37, <laughs> I won't lie, um, but that's alright. Nah, feeling good and yeah, really excited um, to finally get to play. Erin, I think you're the first person to captain both the Crows and Power. What is that? Does that have extra meaning at all? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Um, look, it's it's a massive honour. I obviously got to do it um, the Crows, and that was really special. And yeah, so taking obviously what I've learned from there, um, and got to do it alongside Chelsea Randall, and uh, you know get to lead this team. So it's, it is special. Um, yeah, I, like I couldn't imagine being uh, in this position if you asked me even eight years ago. So. Yeah, everything's just becoming a bonus. I'm just loving where I'm at, loving this new team. Um, love getting to work really closely, closely next to Loz, um, learning so much. So, yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true, really.